Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time once again for a postcard of the week. Please like us to uh, give us a thumbs up on YouTube and also Facebook. Today, I wanted to tell, tell you about another category of collecting, and that is the go with, two words, go with. You're, you're adding to, uh, another category that you already collect. And uh, it just hopefully will make uh, the whole exhibit or whatever you're presenting just that much more interesting. My example today is a ticket that I bought several years ago at the Wichita Postcard Club show from Lee Lanning. He's a nice man or Vietnam vet author great friend and he comes from uh, Texas all the way up to our show each year our postcard show and Lee had this on his uh, desk counter like there at the postcard show and I spotted it and I said and uh, please tell me about that and he handed it to me and it was in a, uh, a little protective uh, uh, plastic uh, holder and uh, so I looked at it and looked at both sides. And this is a ticket, a cardboard ticket for the C.W. Parker uh, Amusement Ride Company out of Abilene, Kansas. Well, I knew that uh, a little bit about this, uh, the history of that company. And uh, today there's a museum in Abilene where you can go see the C.W. Parker carousel that were, was made there in Abilene and uh, enjoy, uh, you know, learning about that much of uh, local history. This company was there until about 1911 when they had the, the owner, Mr. Parker, had issues with the city fathers of Abilene and they didn't come to agreement maybe on the land uh, uh, values and taxes and so forth. And he just pulled up all of the stakes and took his tent to Leavenworth, Kansas and reopened the C.W. Parker Amusement Company in Leavenworth. And that's where it was until the uh, mid 1950s when it was dissolved. Uh, but this ticket uh, is from the earlier time period, 1911 or before 11. And you can see on each side of the ticket, it looks like there's a V nickel on each side. And that's kind of neat. If you go to your blue book, your coin book, you'll see when V nickels were uh, uh, in vogue or when they were making them. And the V nickel here uh, would have had to have been before 1911. Uh, this uh, would have been a ride ticket. Five cents was pretty substantial, but so was the ride going around and around in a circular Moses motion, riding on wooden horses, carved horses. Uh, it would have been thrilling. And uh, uh, at different points, uh, there was improvements made to the merry ground. It used to be steam, and then it was, uh, uh, they, they motorized it, used electricity and everything to make it move. But this is one of those things that I call a go with uh, item that I purchased and plan to put it with my uh, merry-go-round postcards if I ever do a, a display for a postcard show. Uh, I don't think I have any Abilene postcards. Uh, the postcards that exist for C.W. Parker that I know about all say Leavenworth, Kansas on them. But this is just a, a, a nice item to put with and maybe at the top of the uh, uh, display telling a little bit about it and uh, showing the history that they uh, were in Abilene, Kansas before they moved to Leavenworth, Kansas. Well, that's all for today, folks, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the Wichita Postcard Club show 
uh, this October 16 and 17. If you're interested in membership or anything, make leave me a comment, uh, message me on Facebook, and I'll sure get back to you. Thanks very much.